hello, hello. Um, I've just finished reading. Uh, I was going to say Douglas Adams. Go. I've just finished reading *The Madness of Crowds* by um, Douglas Murray, not Douglas Adams. <laughs> My dyslexia is alive and well. Um, yeah, Douglas Murray, The Madness of Crowds, um, a self-help book, a guide for um, people to how to deal with cultural Marxism and, Marx and, and the march of Marxism. Uh, yeah, 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 I think he should sell it as a self-help book, yeah. Uh, it's very, very interesting, it's quite a long read, it's quite a long one, but um, it, break to, it break down, breaks down the different intersectional groups, you know, the L, G, B, G, T, V, W, X, Y, Z sort of thing, and how they conflict with each other, some of their needs conflict with each other, but that, that doesn't matter, because as far as um, Marxism is concerned, um, the truth is not important. What's important is the, is the sort of like your position on the victimhood hierarchy. So, and um, why? And the, 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 one of the biggest thing is, well, you know, because people most, I've, I've often thought, well, why? Why bother? You know, because I've always been, I was brought up in a way that to, to see yourself as a victim is the end. It's the end game. It's if you see yourself as a victim, it's the end game. You 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 know you, you're done. You know, you, just, you know the thing that actually keeps you from being a victim is your ref utter refusal to see yourself as a victim. If you so, if you know what I mean. Uh, it was just that was just what was instilled in me as a child. Like you know, you're not you're not a victim. You're a victor. You know, and things like that, which is. I think it, I mean, I think psychologically it helps quite a lot actually. <laughs> but the moment you see yourself as a victim, then you're beaten. You're, you're beaten. You're beaten in Birmingham. You, you've, you've, yeah, you, you, you're gone. Uh, beaten in Birmingham. Do you know where that comes from? Just a quick one. <laughs> um, beaten in Birmingham is um, about. I th I think it was um, a boxer was coming down to London to fight this other boxer in a, in a boxing competition. And the hype about this boxer that he was going down to fight, he was a fairly seasoned fighter. You know, this guy was an utter animal and you know, was basically unfightable. He'd take, he, he could destroy anything and everything like that. Like, you know. So, um, he was on the train coming down, he was stewing over this fight, stewing over this fight, and he said, the last thing I want is to get the, the shit kicked out of me for a few measly things, you know. So, when he got to Birmingham New Street, he got off the train, and he phoned up the, uh, the, the, the fight organiser, and he said, can you tell the guy that I'm fighting, he beat me in Birmingham, and he went back to Manchester. So that's where beating in Birmingham comes from. And if you're a victim, that's where you are. You're beaten in Ver Birmingham. You're beaten before even the fight. Like, yeah, it's sort of like a thing. And the reason why it, they need victims for Marxism to work, you need you need victims, or for Marxism to be not work, but to Marxism to be sort of applied, you need victims. Like, yeah, you know, the the working class, the oppressed working class. We're going to fight for the oppressed working class, like you know. Now the working class don't see themselves as oppressed anymore, they, they, so they look for the things, so they look for women, they look for um, racial sort of differences, they look for religious differences, they look for sexual, pre pre you know, li gay living, all this lot, and then they go to transsexual, they're going to find anything that's different so they can find victims, so they can actually recruit mark people to do their Marxist fulfill their Marxist dreams for them and that's what's driving it all very interesting but Douglas Murray is one smart cookie yeah and uh, don't, don't get me wrong we all I mean equality of opportunity like you know 
I love that. He said, oh yeah, everybody says, even, Doug, even, even Jordan Peterson says, oh yeah, quality of opportunity. There's no such thing as a quality of opportunity. There cannot be. If every human being was born with exactly the same IQ, same sort of personality, same sort of thing, that's the only way you could ever think of. Look, if, if, like me, you're not one of the, the, the geniuses of this world, you, your IQ is probably fairly standard, right, okay. Um, basically, you know, you're, you, know you, you don't have the opportunity to sort of like, sort things out and be as good as people with a very, very super high IQ. People with super high IQ are usually quite successful, extremely successful. People with low IQs are not successful. So it goes. There's no equality of opportunity from the off. So I wish everybody would stop banging on about things. What you've got to have to be is responsible for yourself and accept responsibility for yourself and 